King Constantine II of Greece, who passed away at the age of 82, was born to be a king, but he became the last of his dynasty to rule in Greece. Despite his tumultuous reign, he had a love story that many would envy. In 1964, the young king of Greece met Princess Anne-Marie, the youngest daughter of the king of Denmark, and fell in love. She was only 13 years old at the time, and when she turned 16, he asked her father for her hand in marriage. Three weeks after her 18th birthday, they married, and she became the queen of Greece. The couple's love was evident in their many public appearances and interviews. Queen Amory often said that she was lucky to have found her star in King Constantine. The early years of King Constantine's reign were full of promise. A year after his marriage to Queen Amory, he became a father. However, his reign was cut short by a military coup in April 1967, which saw him forced to approve a new military government. Constantine was later heavily criticized for not resisting war and fighting harder. He did not want a bloody war and was trying to buy time to mount a counter coup. In an interview in 2004, he said that he was trying to find a system where the Greeks wouldn't kill each other in a civil war, as they had just gone through that in the 1940s. Eight months after the coup, he attempted a counter coup, but it failed. In December 1967, he and his family were forced to flee Greece, as the monarchy was abolished. The family fled on a private plane at night, taking only a few belongings with them. They ended up living in Rome for seven years, hoping to return to Greece and restore the monarchy. However, the Greeks succeeded in overthrowing the military regime and restoring democracy, but a referendum led to the denial of the monarchy. After the abolition of the monarchy, the Greek royal family moved to London, where they continued to lead a royal life, despite losing their royal status in Greece. The other royal houses with which King Constantine was mostly associated continued to recognize the family as royalty and refer to them as king and queen. This allowed the Greek royal family to maintain their status and lead a royal life in London, where the former King Constantine eventually acquired a special role. He took on a more diplomatic role and became a kind of royal unifying center for all the royals of Europe. He was especially close to the British royal family, the Danish, and the Spanish, as he was the brother of Queen Sophia. King Constantine's relationship with the British royal family was particularly close, as Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth's husband, also had roots in the Greek royal house. King Constantine became godfather to Prince William, while Queen Elizabeth became godmother to the former king's and queen's youngest daughter, Princess Theodora. The attendance of royal families at former King Constantine and former Queen Amory's receptions was always large, whether at christenings, weddings, or anniversaries. At Constantine's 60th birthday celebrations, Prince Charles made his first public appearance with his then-partner Camilla Parker Bowles. In a documentary, diplomatic analyst Constantine Bouchier called the former King Constantine a kind of glue that held the European royal houses together. There has been much speculation over the years about how the former king was able to buy an expensive mansion in London, and whether the Danish or British royal family helped him. However, King Constantine always denied these rumors. In addition to his diplomatic role, King Constantine was also active in various philanthropic endeavors. He was the patron of numerous charities, including the Hellenic Society. The former king was also an avid sailor and competed in the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome as a member of the Greek sailing team. In 1978, he won the One Ton Cup, an international sailing competition, with his yacht, Sydney. He was also the chairman of the organizing committee for the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens, which marked the return of the Games to their birthplace after more than a century. In recent years, King Constantine's health had been in decline. He suffered a stroke in 2013, which left him partially paralyzed and using a wheelchair. However, he remained active in public life, attending numerous events and charity functions in London and around Europe. Upon the news of his passing, tributes poured in from around the world. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis tweeted that he was deeply saddened by the news of the former king's death and praised him for his significant contribution to the country. 
The Danish royal family also expressed their condolences, with Queen Margrethe II describing him as a dear cousin and friend. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, who had worked with King Constantine on the organizing committee for the Athens Olympics, tweeted that he was a true friend and a real pleasure to work with. The passing of King Constantine marks the end of an era for Greece and Europe. Despite the political turmoil that forced him into exile and the loss of his royal status in Greece, he remained a respected and influential figure in European royal circles. His legacy will be remembered not only for his contributions to Greek and European diplomacy, but also for his personal charm, philanthropy, and love story with Queen